Oh my God. Hey guys, look who I am here with. Let's Hello. <laughs> and you're having, thank you for having me on Facebook Live with you guys on Total yes, Bellas. You're welcome. So, I'm like, you're welcome. <laughs> yes, thank you. Bri and Nikki are right here with me, and we have to talk so many things. You are busy, ladies, first of all. Oh my yes. gosh. Very busy. busy. Insanely busy. And oh, we, we've heard. We, uh, yes, we have. <laughs> um, speaking of hearing things and being busy, congratulations. Thank you oh. so much. <laughs> She's pregnant. She's preggers. It's That's happening. Triggers. It's happening. And you know what? We want to give you something here at Ease. So. Oh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so Thank cute. Thank you so much. Aww. That's really sweet. Yeah. I haven't got her a hug. You just well, take it. You just take the flowers and Jeez. then we go. I haven't gotten flowers in a while. That's yeah, why we don't, don't give out flowers that much. I love People it. People don't know how to react. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> right, like, exactly. That's now, amazing. the baby, yeah. the little one, is due in springtime. Yes. Okay. So. Are we unsure right now of gender? Yes, I don't know the gender yet, um, but I will be finding out soon. And so, because I was like, do, Brian and I were kind of going back and forth. We are like, do we want a surprise? And then we just both are like, no, like, it's in here. And you just <laughs> oh. are like, you know, you can find out the gender, so we're going to find out here soon. I hope it's a girl and it's exactly like me. Oh, oh gonna, goodness, oh, that'd be my husband's worst nightmare. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now I was going to say that. Your situation in this, you're going to be auntie. I know, Auntie are we, Coco. Are we ready for this? Are you excited? Are you going to spoil this child and just... Oh, gosh, yes. Oh, spoil the child so bad. <laughs> and I just... It's crazy because I'm so excited for her. And I think, really, when I, like, see this tummy popped out... It's weird because this past week, I've really have seen the changes with her. We've yeah, been on this crazy media tour. And she and I, like, of course, we'll have our own rooms, but then have to share rooms because we right. just like having well, sleepovers. Well, because you're scared of the dark. Um, you wanted me to sleep with you as well. We <laughs> like having slumber parties. <laughs> but it was weird to already see the changes in her right, body. Right. I was like, What's oh my happening? gosh. Well, I will yeah. admit, I, I feel so bad for all the media outlets I've been doing the last couple weeks because everyone's been so sweet to me about right. like, oh, are you pregnant? Are you pregnant? And I'm sure they were looking at me and like <laughs> seeing my breast and my tummy and being like, she looks pregnant. But, um, you know, we did want to keep it a secret, and I really wanted to save it for our family yeah. here at E! and um, also with WWE. But um, I just want to thank everyone who's been praying for me to get pregnant, Aww. everyone who's been rooting for me, and you guys have been on this long journey with yeah. me. It's just amazing. And um, I will promise all of you, I'll constantly keep you updated. Baby with everything Daniel. with Baby <laughs> Danielson. So. Oh, well, now yeah. we know how the ladies feel about it. Hubby. Oh, yeah. How excited was he, he and what was his reaction? It's actually precious because he got more emotional than I did. You know? He's very and, emotional. Yeah, and like when we had our first ultrasound and we heard the heartbeat, he actually cried. And like, Aww. it just like, it's crazy because I think as a woman, you feel everything going on. So right. when you're pregnant, you just, you, you know it from the mm. beginning and it's great. I think for a man, it takes them to hear the heartbeat to truly just like, to realize. Right, to make it real. And so to see his emotions in the room, I was just like, wow. I'm like, I don't know. I felt like it made us closer. It was really <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> no. Now, you two obviously are close. We know your sisters, but you guys are really close. You finish each other's sentences sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Now, you said it took you a while just to see, like, okay, I can see her changing a little bit. Yeah. How long did it take for her to tell you? Or did you know, like, she knew right away. Yeah. Did you I, know? I kind of, it was like an intuition. How did I, you? She was the I first knew person I called. Her mom. Yeah. yeah. Really? She was my first person. Right. I know. <laughs> I had to. She better have. <laughs> or she would have never heard, or would have not stopped hearing about it for the rest of our lives. Yeah. So it well, was something good. It was. Yeah. And I feel like because we are twins and we are sisters, it's just like we have this really close connection and bond. Yeah. And so I feel like I tell her everything all the time, all my secrets, and it just wouldn't been weird if I didn't go to her first. Yeah, wouldn't have been right. Yeah, I love you. She's, she's like, I know, I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is this the first of many? First of few? It's, your baby's not even here yet, and I'm already trying to have you have like yeah, right. quadruplets. <laughs> 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 I know. Well, it's Brian and I want two. two. Yeah, we think two is great. And um, you know, my husband has a severe problem with the uh, population control. So two babies at the most. Two is enough. Yeah, uh -huh. that's what he thinks is a good thing that John doesn't want to have kids because of population control. I'm like, um, excuse me. I think. <laughs> we don't know. I'll worry about the population. I guess I'll try to make it a positive thing. <laughs> now, uh, someone here also, uh, 
family of E, Tyler Henry, you guys. Oh, love Tyler. Oh my gosh. Love Tyler. Hollywood medium. Yes. Recently on. How yes. was that? What was the experience like? Let people know. Like, he said the thing about babies, right? Yeah, he yeah, did. Because and I think what people don't realize too is you sit down with Tyler for like an hour, an hour and a half. And he goes in so much detail. And you know, they can't put all of that on television. But just sitting with him and the energy in the room and how he is, it was a very surreal experience. Yeah. And there was Magical. a lot of things he told us that I'm like, no, like, right. how do you know? Like, stuff you can't even Google. And About the safe. Our yeah, I mean, there was stuff they didn't even see with our grandfather. He kept bringing up this family. name, and, like, the viewers didn't get to see it at home. But we, we didn't know who, what this name meant right. to our family. And so when we went home, Brie all of a sudden calls me, and goes, oh my gosh. I'm like, what? She goes, you know that safe that's been passed down in the family? And yeah. she got it, and I didn't. I was so yeah. pissed. It's like, yeah, she goes, <laughs> my wedding Giovanni is the name on it. <laughs> yes. It like, we didn't even know. So you didn't even know, but bringing he... that name up. Yeah, and so, and we feel bad because he wanted to come through, come through and say but something, we didn't but know we were kind of like, was. and you were making no. that connection. No. Right. And then I go home, and there's the safe. And there the it name. is. And now we found out it's our great great grandfather. That was the safe from South Philly in the candy store they owned. Wow. So crazy, I was like, right? Tyler, we need to talk again. Yeah, yeah we need another we need appointment. To catch up. Maybe two hour block. Yeah. Is it the hour each? She hugged you, not fair. <laughs> I did hug. But you had touched on that as well, Nikki. You were saying he had kind of mentioned within the next two years, was, what, was that yeah. what it was, that you would be pregnant? Right. Yes. So was that something you actually believed sitting with him in front of that? or because? Oh, I definitely did, even though I was kind of hoping he was going to say one to two months at the time. <laughs> and I she kind of was like, 365 know, times like two. two. Yeah, that's, that's a long, long time. time. I'm like, should I just go back to the ring? <laughs> <laughs> so it was something but, that you've always felt, though. You knew, and, oh, yeah. and when he said it, it kind of was like, all right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, yeah. the fans are watching. Hi, fans. And they know what's going on. The new season. We have to talk about the new season. I spoke to you guys briefly at the Emmys about it. Well, you and you and your hubby, yes. I spoke to you about it. I didn't get to see you. No. Um, so the new season. You guys are living together under the same roof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How you act like it was bad for you. It was bad for me. Yeah, it was my home. I couldn't escape. So how is that? And let them know what they can expect from this season because everyone is anticipating this. So... The season, of course, has its drama and chaos, and it's compelling, and it gets crazy. But the one cool thing that makes it so much different than even Total Divas and any other reality show out there is, one, you get such a in more in-depth look at John and I's relationship, right. Brianna and Brian's relationship, and you actually get to hear from the guys and right. get to see their point of view on um, whatever situation is going on. Yeah. You get to hear their perspective. And it's crazy because... You know, we, we've been out of high school for 14 years now, so did I ever think that my whole family would be under one roof again? And in my home, no. <laughs> no. And John is such an angel for letting it happen. Oh, but yeah. After yeah. An angel with so many rules. Well, the rules were amazing. <laughs> I guess. But, not really. I mean, we thought it was a great idea, which it's still a great idea. Not was really, it like no. moving home again? Like back no, home you rules? You know what it was? Like, it, it was like, for me, well, the rules... Like, I just, you live your life a certain way. I'm very laid back. I go with the flow. So all of a sudden, right. someone's telling me I have to make my bed first thing in the morning before I get morning coffee. Um, by the way, if you make your bed first thing in the morning, it's better for your brain and you'll have a more productive day. I make my bed That's after coffee. I feel better, you know. I need you my coffee what's happening first. Here. She's lazy. <laughs> no. Well, and then for Brian and I, it was, you know, we we're going through a lot of serious things in our relationship that we wanted to keep private, but nosy over here and my mom and everyone was like in our business and then giving their opinions and it really started stressing my poor <laughs> husband She out. acts like family was only in her business because we were under one roof. No, and you all out there know that families are always in each other's business. Always, That's always. True. I'm going to be nosy With whether you're East Coast, opinion. West Coast, <laughs> worldwide. It doesn't matter. I'm going to be nosy about yeah. your stuff. But we were like a room away. So then it was just a lot. A lot. This is only two minutes, people, okay? Yeah. So, you guys have to so tune in tonight, you're going to yeah. see a lot more. Tune in tonight. There's a lot going on. And also, I want to touch on your surgery. Yeah. Very extensive surgery. As well yeah, he had time. surgery on his shoulder. Ex yeah, and so all season long, which all season long, which you'll see on Total Bellas, um, John's rehabbing his shoulder, and that was the kind of tough thing. Is like here, coincidentally, John and I get surgery a few weeks apart from each other, and so the one plus of me having neck surgery, I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna get to see my man more. 
But you really get to see how hard John works to get back into that WWE yeah. ring. Why he's called Superman. He would rehab all day. I'm like, what else all could day. you do? I'm like, I guess I'm not going to see my guy ever. <laughs> so this and now I'm stuck with them. Yeah. yeah. I was oh, like, poor you. Because I could barely <laughs> leave the house being in a neck brace, which is the reason why my family came. Because yeah. I actually did need help. Like here, I get a puppy. A week later, John needs surgery. Two weeks later, I need surgery. And so it's just, I really needed their help. And um, especially everything I was going through, it was really, really right. tough. But Well, it was crazy, too, because I was on the road to WrestleMania 32, which was my retirement. Right. So I was on the road five days a week, which meant my husband was at home <laughs> with her a lot. With this one. And it was like, them do all the time, and they can't be more different. And um, <laughs> we literally got into our first big argument. Really? Why the cameras are rolling. They got everything. And, like, it's very hard for me to relive it because uh, I've never seen him Brian too. so upset. Like, he cussed at me, and Brian and never, he never cusses. He seems so... Oh, oh. Yeah, he never cusses. She He's, got him there. I, got I him literally to go hit the buttons and, like, put the knife in and turned it. Because she... It's very I, easy for He got do. me to a point... <laughs> where I felt like I needed to defend myself. And literally, we got into this big, huge argu argument for my whole family. Right. Thank goodness John wasn't there. But I didn't think Brian and I were going to be able to make up. And it was very difficult for Brian and I after that for yeah. a while because it was just, we did spend a lot of time together. So towards the end, it was just almost like he said that one thing, and I was like, oh, mm. I can't take it anymore. And it just yeah. and escalated. I think, too, yeah. what you know, was going on is my husband had to retire from in ring and um, he was trying to be very manly about it and just kind of like not sell anything and yeah. not show like how sad he was about it all but he couldn't hide it anymore and I think being at a house that isn't yours not in your it's safe place it's different just, it's, it's hard and yeah you see him go through that in the series and then all of a sudden you know she makes a couple comments and it was and like there, it's a whole other yeah. right well and that's that was the it. tough thing is like re-watching everything you don't see it in person. Right. And you don't know what's going on. So well, you're, you're in it. it. Yeah, right. you're I'm living in it in that right. moment. So then watching it, I'm like, I look like a huge bee because <laughs> I didn't know he was going through all this stuff. Right. And like, I'm just being all me where he doesn't think I recycle enough or I use too much water or whatever it is. <laughs> um, He's and conserving. So, He's taking yeah, care of the earth. <laughs> right? And so it was like... Like watching it, like you literally want to just hold Brian by episode yeah. six. Like it's it's a incredible crazy intense. journey to watch Brian through these six episodes. Well, listen, I have some fans. I have a couple more questions for you guys, but I want to take a second to get to the fan yes. questions. Okay. So Michelle Blankenship, she asks, "Will you be will we be able to see your child on Total Divas slash Total Abellas?" Ooh. Definitely. Um, I'm waiting. Have you talked to your husband about this, or is it just <laughs> your baby? No, I mean, <laughs> he's open to it, too. Actually, I think he would like me to show everyone how to have a natural birth. Um, so he'd probably be very much for that because he'd like me to show everyone you don't need medicine. So, so you um, think we'll have the natural birth, maybe? That is my plan right now. Okay. So, and, That's you know, I'm one of those. I know I believe in medicine, so if I have to go to it, I'm fine. My husband might hate me for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? No. Or it could just save your life exactly. and your baby? But well, I do you'll have to take everyone on. You'll yeah. drink the I'll be, yeah. like, drinking a whole bottle. <laughs> like, ow! Oh, well, that's good to know that Get maybe the there's a chance for yeah. I definitely want to take family. people on my journey of being pregnant, for sure. Okay, Connie Cantrell, for Bree and Nikki, how do you always carry yourselves with confidence? What advice would you oh. give someone on how to be confident? What a oh, great wow. question, really by is. the way. Um, I think it starts with truly loving yourself. And I think... You have to let go of what people think about you, right. and you have to accept you for you. It took me a while. Once I was on TV, I really let what people were saying affect me about, like, my weight, my yeah. appearance. And when I tried so hard to change that, I was like, why am I, why am I trying to please people? Right. And I think my confidence came from because then I started loving myself. I love who God made me. This is me. This is what you're going to get. If you don't like it, see you bye. Yeah. And that gives you confidence. Yeah. It does. Nicole and I have always realized that you do. You, it starts with looking in the mirror and being like, I am a strong woman. I do have confidence. Because if you don't believe it, no one else will. Right. So the minute you believe it, the rest of the world will. Mm -hmm. There you go, guys. That's a good answer, ladies. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Amber Beagley says, this is a question for Brie. Have you ever thought of starting your own Baby Bella product line? Right? Because you're such an all-natural person and organic as well. I think you would be great at the job. Birdie um, B. Bella. Oh. Or baby. <laughs> Birdie B. Baby. Right? <laughs> I mean, I would love to and be something I'd definitely look into. Right now, pregnancy is kind of kicking my butt. So um, all I think about is uh, bagels, fruit, and bed. But, um, yeah, it would be definitely something I'd be interested in. All right, one more from, from the fans. This is um, from Stefan Anderson. What kind of music are you two into? Ooh. Lumineers. And Ooh, I'm sad because one. I missed their concert last night. Brian and I had great seats. We've been waiting to see the Lumineers. And They're we amazing. missed them because uh, we were at SmackDown Live last night. Well, I got to see them about a rock recently, but oh. uh, <laughs> I, like, I like all sorts of music. I am very big into the Rat Pack and Etta James. Um, nice, you like the throwback. I do, oh, I go does. throwback, and then all of a sudden I'll be listening to like the grunge era, and then I'll be like blasting Red Hot Chili Peppers. Like I'm so all over the place when it comes to music, yeah. but I really appreciate everything more back in the day. Right. Yeah. She's old school. Old school right That's now. That's right. Now you're out of the ring right now, obviously. Has it brought you closer with Daniel, who's also out of the ring? Like, is that something that's, because you're both out right now. Yeah, so, I mean, it definitely has, but now he's the GM of SmackDown. And um, I'm like, wait a second. I thought I retired so we could be together the whole time. <laughs> but he's only gone a couple days a week, which is nice. But it, it really has. We've actually done normal things, and we have a schedule. And yeah. we haven't had that our whole they relationship. They get a garden all the time. Yeah, and it's really fun because... Um, I was really nervous that we'd get sick of each other, but, right. but we haven't yet. And I just, Good. yeah, we really enjoyed our time together. No. Now, getting back to this really quickly, this home being under one roof, has it, has it brought you two closer? Has it brought the whole, I mean, I know you just said, like, a lot happened yeah. with everything that you didn't know, and now you see it and watching it. Is this something that you guys are glad that you actually did? I actually, I mean, I yes. am happy. It almost tore us apart. Yeah. It did. It got hard in the end because Brian was going through so much. Right. I mean, we got in a massive fight that, like... Two massive fights. I couldn't even watch it back because I was I like, couldn't my either. cheeks were red. But even uh, my brother called and was like, dang, and I'm like, yeah, we know. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> it, um, I think I'm very protective of her. Yeah. And so I didn't know fully what Brian was going through, but it came off to me that he wasn't being supportive. And right. you'll have to tune in to Total Bells to know exactly what I'm talking about. But there were moments where I became protective of her, but she thought I wasn't being sincere, and right. so it made us But what heads. I feel is, like, in the end, what it made my sister and I realize that we are different people. Yes. And we have to respect the way that we are now. Yes. Like, just, we like different things. And it yeah. made me realize that her and John and their relationship, it works for them. And I can't yeah. give my opinion because it works for them. And yeah. then she realized that with Brian and I. That, you know, there's a way that we live and we like stuff and she can't give her opinion. And so that's what we kind of realized living together is like we have to stop protecting each other because we both know what we want and we're doing good on our own. Yeah. Is there anything that surprised the two of you being so close? Um, that- how severe OCD she has. <laughs> how lazy you are with your appearance. Oh, yeah, because I'm at the house and I like to wear sweats. There's a difference from wearing, like, sweats and being put together and then coming out like, whoa. Like, I was, if you like, party happy. all night and all morning, her hair would be everywhere. What and, like, happened? <laughs> it was like my I'm days just, off. I'm, I didn't know how to get dogs like, out least, by your house. When I know, it's... I am, when I'm around John on my off days, like, I don't wear makeup, but I'm in, like, a, a cute little top so and, like, is, sweatpants. Like, I still <laughs> want my man to look at me and be like, damn. This Brie is my feeling. Brie just, yeah, just gave up. up. Well, She's I like, want to be mom, who cares? But my feeling, too, is, Hers like, are, like, the sweatpants, like, um, what's that movie that, like, when he tries to beat the wife home before she puts on the big sweatpants and ties it? No, I And then he knows it's no all idea. over for the rest of the night. Anyways, my thing is, like, Shut it down. Yeah, it's, like, locked down. <laughs> I know the camera you know are on and all that but I feel like this is who I am like on my off days I'm wrestling five days a week like when I have my off days like I want to be in my sweats I want to be relaxed I have to wear makeup every day so the two days I want to wear no makeup yeah. now, granted I watch it and I'm like Ooh, maybe I should have put a little bit on <laughs> maybe but, I should have fixed um, my hair a little bit <laughs> but it's who I am and I feel like if I'm gonna allow people to come into my lives and see who I am then I gotta show them who I am and yeah it's gonna be a messy ponytail and my sweatpants did right. you brush your teeth? There you of have course. it. <laughs> Did you brush your teeth? Oh, yeah. Okay. The only thing she was upset about, enough. though, is I wouldn't get pedicures. Like, whatever. I didn't That's have why you're not seeing our toes right now. 
Well, that's <laughs> why I have a pedicure right now. <laughs> you guys look amazing. Thank Aww. you. So Thank let you. everyone know to tune in tonight because this is it. Everyone, tonight, set your DVRs, text yes. your friends, use your social media platforms. Watch but, it live. Yes, watch it live. But please join us on E, only on E, tonight, 8 p.m., Total yes. Bellas. You're going to love it. We're going to love you for it. Right. Come join us. And if you don't, a missile called missile. A missile dryer. I was like, in Spanish. I was like, and now in Espanol. <laughs> missile drop. No, me no, <laughs> Ocho. And noche. I was Pregnant like, wow. Brain. I wish I started speaking Spanish. I was there about to be impressed. I, I got excited lessons. too. I was yeah. like, well, I'm <laughs> done. I'm going to get out of here. My job's done. You heard <laughs> Brie and Nikki right here. practice something. Guys, it's almost time. Make sure you tune into the series premiere of Total Bellas tonight, oh, yeah. 8, 7 Central, followed by the series premiere of Chase Catching Kelsey, starring <laughs> Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs. He is looking for love, ladies. So make sure you tune in, ladies. Oh, man. Thank you love so you guys. much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.